some kind of way out of here. Said I jumped up to the thief. A revolution in the 1960s, which introduced new interest in drugs, fashion, and music called the counterculture movement, greatly affected America and its citizens' beliefs today. The counterculture movement was a civil rights movement that started because of ongoing anti-war movement hindered by young people. During this time, teenagers, among others, questioned mainstream American values due to frustrations of race, gender, consumerism, violence, and conservatism. The music of the 1960s moved towards an electric, psychedelic version of rock. In the United States, bands that exemplify the counterculture were becoming huge commercial and mainstream successes. During the 60s and 70s, fashion and drug culture transformed with the hippie movement. Visual statements of rebellion included long hair, tie-dye garments, loose-fitting prairie dresses or tops, and flared jeans or pants. In a statement against consumerism, many members of the counterculture opted to buy vintage items or shopped at flea markets. Grooming also strayed from the social norm, and long hair and beards were common. In an effort to appear more natural, people wore sandals and homemade jewelry, and women usually abstained from makeup and often did not wear bras. These modes of dress became known as the hippie aesthetic. Psychedelic drugs like marijuana and LSD became a popular way to expand the mind in order to see a new reality, a better reality, than the consumerist government-controlled one. Of course, onlooking adults who were part of the 40s and 50s generation before the hippie generation didn't approve of their behavior, but it didn't matter to the youth. What counterculture was about was doing what you wanted and what made you feel good.